Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Hey, nurse, check out my new glasses. Pretty cool, huh? Um, are they 3D glasses from the cinema? You do know you're meant to take them off at the end of the movie. Ouch! Yes, yes, yes. But the movie was amazing. Spaceships with their lasers blasting past my head. Rock spinning towards me, evil robot soldiers firing cannons into the dinosaur army. What was the movie called? Flopsy's Lovely Day Out. Bit more violent than I was expecting it to be, if I'm honest. But you do know that your eyes see things in 3D all by themselves. Here, catch. Ouch! Wow! You're right. Didn't see that coming. Let's go and ask Sally Specs about it. She's a dynamic dispensing optician. And maybe we could get some facts for our new eye guide whilst we're at it. Right then, Professor. 3D. Well, the world around us is very different to a flat picture, which only has two dimensions. Any ideas what they are? Length and width. You've got it, nurse. The world around us is very different to a drawing or a TV screen. It has a few more dimensions. The third one is depth. Depth perception is the name given to the way we make sense of things being near or far away from us. We can only do it because we have two eyes. So we wouldn't see the world in 3D with just one? Well, it wouldn't be so easy to make sense of it all. Look, here's an experiment. Great! I love experiments. You'll need two pencils. Just two, Professor. Find two pencils with erasers on the end and hold them out in front of you with the erasers pointing at each other, but a few inches apart. OK, pencils at the ready. What now? Close one eye. Doesn't matter which one. Now, try to move the pencils together so the erasers are touching. I missed! How's that possible? Now, try it with both eyes open. Ta-da! Voila! Two eyes give you better depth perception. Each eye grabs a slightly different set of images to give to your brain. The information about the difference is how your brain works out depth. So, how do we make flat two-dimensional images like the movie on the screen seem like they're in 3D? The TV's only got width and height. The clue is in those special glasses they give you. You mean the very cool sunglasses they give you? Hey, check me out. They're not sunglasses. The images on the screen have been separated into two. If you look at the images without the 3D glasses, you can see this for yourself. The right hand and the left hand lenses of your 3D glasses are different. Each one can only see one of the images. This means that your brain is getting two images. Just like it gets from your eyes. You've got it. The difference makes the image appear to have depth, which is why it looked like Flopsy was flying at your head in that movie. That is one tough bunny. So, can everyone see 3D pictures? No, it does rely on your eyes working together normally. If you have a lazy eye or a squint, or even if you normally need glasses, you might find it hard to see images in 3D. Professor, you really should take them off indoors. You can't see where you're going. So, other than bumping into things because the glasses are too dark to see, will watching a 3D display hurt your eyes? There's no evidence that watching a 3D display will do you any harm, and fixed 3D displays have been around since Victorian times. However, if you find 3D movies make your eyes or head hurt, it is worth telling your optician or optometrist. Thanks, Sally. All that information about 3D vision can go into the eye guide. Let's get it uploaded. Processing paper. Upload complete. Oh, before you go, Professor, have you got time for a further quick fact for the eye guide? I don't see why not. Well, did you know that a chameleon's eyes can look in different directions at the same time? That's incredible. Both eye-watering and inspiring. Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Find out more and get hands-on at funkidslive.com slash Hallux.